Sorry, yeah. Uh, before we get started, just a reminder, please, to ensure your cell phones are all on mute um, so that we can minimize the amount of sound interruption. And please make sure that you use a microphone um, when, you, when you ask a question so that our transcribers will be able to use your questions for the transcripts. Hi, Angelo. Let's, getting back into the team, uh, I mean, what is your personal feeling about being playing another World Cup? Yeah, I mean, firstly, I feel for Matisha. I mean, um, you know, it's never a good way to um, um, get injured and, you know, get back home, especially in a World Cup. So um, I wish him a speedy recovery and also he's going to be fantastic over the next 10 years for us. Um, yes, you know, coming back to your question, I, yeah, it's an honor to um, play uh, for, you know, take part in my fourth 50 uh, over World Cup. And uh, see, I worked hard after the last 2019 World Cup to um, uh, keep running for a place. Um, and um, especially after the LPL, um, um, I was able to sort of get back into the groove uh, in terms of white ball cricket. Um, I mean, obviously, I haven't played a lot of white ball cricket over the last three years. Uh, but um, I'm, I'm hoping to use all my experience and give it all out um, in this World Cup. Uh, have you been uh, told what sort of role you're going to play in this team? Well, mostly, I mean, our, our top pod is quite settled. So wherever the, the team wants me, wherever the, the captain, the coach wants me to bat, I will bat. And it looks like I'll, I'll bat in the middle order. Uh, uh, but the positions doesn't really matter. I mean, as long as I can contribute in whatever way possible towards a winning cause. Um, I mean, I'm not really bothered about, you know, uh, personal milestones, you know, betting up top the order and, and getting hundreds of fifties. I'd rather bet anywhere the team wants me to and try and contribute in a very small way even for a win. Um, Angie, um, after being initially uh, uh, excluded from the World Cup squad, did you ever uh, think that you will uh, get this moment? Uh? No, I think uh, it's just that because those things I, I can't control, it's not under my control. So what I can control is keep pushing myself uh, individually uh, in terms of fitness, bowling, betting, everything. I mean, uh, when the opportunity comes, you know, I have to be ready. I just I just did that over the last you know month or so. Uh, I was training extremely hard at HPC uh, with the other boys as well. So I was I was giving myself a chance to you know if um, if I get the opportunity to be prepared. But um, you know as I said um, I didn't expect because after the after the uh, 15 was selected. I mean I was not you know expecting, but uh, it is what it is. The opportunity came. Uh, Angie, uh, you are the most experienced player of the team, no doubt about that. Uh, what was your mind? Because they were talking uh, during this World Cup, I saw so many uh, big upset victories. Uh, Afghanistan, they really played well. When you experience uh, what type of uh, uh, the Sri Lankan team, do you think uh, what type of uh, thing we have to do from next matches? Yeah, I mean, um, see, we saw Afghanistan, Netherlands winning, and I don't want to call it upsets because they've played extremely well to get into the World Cup. They've played uh, extremely well in the qualifiers as well, you know, especially the, the Netherlands. Um, so any any team can beat any team on their given day. Um, and uh, yes, I mean, for us, it's pretty simple. We have to uh, win most of our matches out of the next five um, uh, to give ourselves a chance to um, to get into that semi-final, which is our, our initial target. Um, and we still have our hopes. I mean, obviously, it's it's not that uh, our team has played badly. We've uh, done mistakes where we shouldn't have. Well, obviously, mistakes do happen, but uh, uh, the opposition have got the better of, you know, out of us in the last um, uh, three games, the first three games. And um, the last game was, was pretty good against the Netherlands. I mean, that gives us the confidence to 
uh, go out there tomorrow and again uh, start fresh and you know have that confidence that we can you know beat uh, England. Do you have any plan because you came here as all down? Do you have any plan to ball uh, tomorrow? Because uh, all of the other you guys are best. Yeah, if the captains, you know, if the captain gives me the ball, obviously I'll bowl. Uh, but yes, I prepared myself to uh, uh, bowl some overs as well uh, because I know uh, if I bowl, I can give the the skipper uh, uh, an advantage of you know when choosing the the team. So. Um, you know, I can give him another option. So, yeah, I'll try and contribute in whatever way possible. Angelo. Kusal uh. Mendes obviously uh, made his debut under your captaincy eight years ago. Now that, you know, I mean, you're play, playing under him, what does it uh, mean um, to you to play under him and how long has he come uh, so far in these last eight years? Yeah, I mean, Kusal has, um, when I saw him first, he was still a, a, a damn good player, and he's he's evolved so much over the last uh, uh, five six years, and now he's showing his maturity, playing fearless cricket, leading from the front, and uh, yes, I mean, playing under him, you know, we've seen captains. I've played under so many different captains, and they've also played under me. So, uh, you know, it it's a cycle we, where we all you know, get into that cycle and then we come in, we go out and then the next generation come in. So, you know, uh, playing under under Kusal, uh, where he started when I was the captain, it gives me pleasure uh, because he's come a long way and I've seen him uh, grow as a person and also as a, as a batsman uh, over the years, which is very uh, fantastic to see. Yeah, yeah Angelo here. Uh, just talking about tomorrow's match, um, how beneficial is it for you guys to have Chris uh, Silva in your side, guy with a man with a bit of insight, you know, insight in the opposition, uh, and also, you know, fact that Sri Lanka beat England in the last World Cup and you were part of the team. How confident are you that you can repeat that performance? Yeah, I mean, it's a different ball game, different conditions, different team. Um, obviously, Chris knows in and out of. Uh, most of their players and uh, we've had discussions about the team as well. Um, I mean, obviously we have to play our A game to win against uh, a strong English team. You know, even though they haven't played to their potential, um, they are a very dangerous team. And uh, we have to, you know, as I say, it's a good wicket, uh, small outfield, and uh, we have to fight fire with fire because they're going to come really hard at us. Um, and uh, we are up for the challenge. Um, just to to go in onto that that heading league game where where you guys beat England at the last World Cup, it's one of many strong performances that you've put in against England, and and you seem to, whenever I've seen you, you seem to really enjoy the contest of of playing England. What what are your feelings and memories of playing against England over the years? Yeah, I mean, whether you play at home or away, or in England or, or any other neutral venue, it's, a, it's always a contest between the English because we know the brand of cricket that they play. And uh, it's all about you've got to be positive with them. If you, if you take a backward step, uh, they're going to jump onto you and then, you know, they're going to take the advantage. But we need to sort of be positive with them, uh, you know, as I keep saying you have to fire, you know, fight fire with fire. We know that they are a high quality team, they are a very well balanced team and you know they can hurt us badly if we are being complacent. Angelo? Hello. Angelo, hi. Just an off topic question. So we've seen that uh, over the years cricket has grown a lot. Even over the years, cricket has grown a lot and people have got attracted to this game. Now it's taken a bigger step and if you see the 2028 Olympics, which is far away, cricket has gone into that as well. So what, do you, uh, what, is, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I mean, cricket has come a long way from where it started to now and then we've seen the, the Test Championship, you know, uh, adding a bit of flavour into Test cricket as well. I mean, uh, you know, it, it gives all of us, especially the fans, cricketers hope of, you know, uh, cricket getting better and better and 
a lot more entertaining than what it was uh, over the years. So uh, yeah, it's I mean it's fastly growing and you know it has it has you know taken the world stage by storm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are now coming to the side as an injury replacement, but you come with a wealth of experience, f fourth World Cup. So in the lead up to this match, uh, so what was your mindset like? How did you keep yourself in the zone? Uh, like you will obviously be not be in the squad, but you should be ready to be in the squad at any point in time. So what was your mindset and how was your preparation? Yeah, look, I've, I've probably seen it all over the last 15 years. Um, so it's quite easy for me to sort of focus on what I have to do rather than getting too affected on what's happening around me because uh, you know, cricket has taught me so much over the years and then now I'm uh, I would say a little more mature than who I was before uh, to sort of shut down the things which I have to and then focus on what um, I have to focus on so all I'm uh, all I'm trying to control is uh, the controllables, and I try not to worry too much. Well, obviously uh, we are people with emotions, and then reacting for those emotions is is going to damage you. So I try to keep calm and then uh, focus on what I have to do, and then obviously uh, you know always do the right thing. Ajime, over Kiwa me, make a Oyagi, Avasan, Locusan, Tarangavalikila, Mokad, the Kedalo in the Kiandakin Saha, may Labun Osta again, Bokoma Dakini. Oh, among English saying Sela Kiwagi, Mati Shatter, among Ikman, Ikman Sue Patanamoka, the Locusala, and other through the Injavila, get the Rayanaka, Maitane, own a play in it, Taitamat, Makanaga, Dudaika. Deak, I think oh, my then up a Ilanga or do the high dollar to let the Vishala Seva Clanka over the Karna Creek, I think Mango did Pansu Patana. Eva gave a matter Hambit, Avasta, again among Mang Saturina, the Mage, Hatraveni, Panduara Panai, World Cup, I think Mata Hamatim, Matapulang, Uprim, Creda Kerla, Ape. Palamu goal lega vana semi final sega dakwa apit end puluang tatte gat gain na tamai mama sa apik anda ya balapurutu ani thing upari me makaran last ino. Angelo, you you yourself spoke about not having played a lot of white ball cricket in the last three years. Even this year you've not played since June ODI cricket. So, what sort of effort went into you know keeping yourself fit for a format like 50 over format? So you. Yeah, I mean, mostly the teams play a lot of 2020s. I mean, because we had the 2020 uh, World Cup uh, last few years, uh, so there was a lot of interest going into T20 cricket and also the Test Championship, as I said, um, has added a lot of flavour into Test cricket. So, a uh, lot of Test cricket and, and T20 cricket have been played, but I personally was not part of uh, the ODI team for for quite a while. I mean, I played only like three games over the last two or three years. But um, I had a good LPL. I bowled better than fielded well. So that gave me the confidence. And also, you know, as I always say, I just try to focus on my fitness, trying to be fit, bowl a few overs, and keep myself, you know, fit and uh, trying to give myself a chance. You know, if I do get the opportunity, then to grab it with both hands. So. I'm looking forward to this World Cup.